My name is Malcolm Travers. I'm the editor-in-chief of The Mail Media Mind, and this is my editor's note for April 22nd, 2015. I haven't done one of these notes in a while, but um, I think I need to get back into it. And I just have a few things that I was going to talk about. I just finished editing another video that I'm scheduling for next week. Um, I also finished the book, The Warmth of Other Suns, which is part of the M3 Bear Book Club which I um, highly recommend to anyone, although we're reaching the end of the month now. Um, maybe you won't get a chance to read it with us, but um, I pretty much would recommend this to everyone and anyone who is interested in reading about the history of this country, um, particularly about uh, the migration of blacks from the South to the North during the 20th century. Um, Particularly if you're interested in the history of the cities of New York, Chicago, and L.A., I think they have, you know, ample amount of interesting uh, stories to keep you entertained. Uh, Breeze has finished it, too, and uh, he's not really a fan of nonfiction. He's uh, much more into literature and uh, novels, so uh, the fact that he would endorse it as well, I think, is a pretty good uh, take on it. Um, in a couple of weeks, we're going to do a review of the book and just, you know, have a good time with that. Um, I am also taking this note to uh, just note that we are uh, having the uh, M3 uh, meetup in Atlanta coming uh, next weekend. Uh, we're going to be seeing Avengers Age of Ultron on Thursday night. Uh, April 30th, but also uh, just hanging out in Atlanta for over the weekend. Um, and so, I don't know, I'm just really looking forward to it. I am a little exhausted because I've been making sure that I have enough content to to get through that next weekend. So, um, you know, doing that. Also, trying to restart... Um, the writer workshop. Uh, we actually took this month off because the last two months were not really effective, but it's possible that we're going to restart that. Um, also, we have the entertainment hangout, which has occurred just over the past two weeks, and we're hoping to have um, Mark host that independently for the first time. Uh, we had some technical problems uh, the first few, first few times I had to actually host it, but uh, Mark is going to be doing that on Friday evenings at 10 p.m. Eastern, and that is very exciting. And uh, I'm just going to start doing these video posts myself, um, you know, thinking about some of the topics that I want to discuss in the Hangouts. Uh, there was an article uh, that Gerald posted in the Mail Media Mind group that I found really interesting. I think I want to tackle. Uh, basically, it was called The Ghost of... Con of um, Cornell West, uh, that was written by Michael Eric Dyson. Um, it was really interesting since uh, some of the criticisms that Cornell West have made about President Obama seem really fishy, and I wasn't really sure about the history of uh, Dyson's relationship with West. And he laid it out in this um, article in the New Republic, and he did an interview for theroot.com about that article and his relationship with him and I thought it was very illuminating and got you know because I, I guess I was a I am a fan of Cornell West I read uh, Race Matters which he notes is a really seminal work back in 1994 but I think he had one of the best reads <laughs> as Mark was telling me in the comments like uh, yeah was that a, a good read the article was a good read but one of the best reads in that article is that he hasn't really written anything of note since then. That was more than 20 years ago. And everything else he's written has been audio or co-authored, ghost written for him. And he's become much more of a speaking celebrity. And I think the article itself got me to thinking about what it means to be a writer because clearly Cornel West is a great thinker and a great speaker. And um, But maybe he was never... A prolific writer and I don't know what that means really because uh, you know 
you know, you could, I think you could still be on, uh, on point, you know, in your, in your speaking, but, um, you know, there's, it's, it was a really good article. I hope we discussed that. Um, I'm sure there's going to be quite a bit more of the topics, the hot topics we discuss. Um, one of the things I've noticed, I, I was reading a book on TED Talks and, uh, you know, the TED Talks being like 18 minutes long. I'm actually thinking about editing the videos a little bit longer, which means also um, taking the topics out a little longer during the Hangouts. So uh, I think that would be comfortable. Um, the intro and outgoing message on there is only about 20 seconds. So, you know, about, around 16 to 17 minutes. I've, I've kept them below 15 minutes, so they'll probably be a little bit longer uh, going forward. Um, if the topic allows, I mean, if they want to be shorter, they would be, but I, I usually had like a arbitrary upper limit of about 15 minutes. And, um, you know, I, I am a fan of the Ted talks. So I was just thinking, well, you know, maybe I can up it to 15 and this is much more of a discussion than a presentation, but you know, uh, you know, all that being said, uh, I just want to also make sure that I, you know, address some of the things that are going on with M3 um, in our in the editor's note just more re recently. Um, one of the things I want to actually start doing is cross-promoting some of the Facebook groups. Uh, Gerald, I think a couple of weeks ago, added a few new people and has been um, basically jump-started the M3 Undercover group I don't know, in the past two weeks, it's almost uh, 500 people have been added, and just the activity of the, the current users has skyrocketed. And I think a lot of times the people in that one group, the undercover group, may not even know much about what else M3 does. So I'm trying to think of some strategies there to cross-promote between different factions of what we do. Because the um, M3 undercover group is basically a sex social group that we started in response to the main M3 uh, the main male media mind group just losing interest because we didn't allow selfies and um, you know the regular types of social posts that you see on Facebook groups so um, and then we also have the M3 entertainment and M3 life group the entertainment group is definitely coming up because Mark has been doing on his job really he's really as good at uh, posting and talking about entertainment topics and he's started his own hangout and the M3 life group I post there my workouts there have been a few activities on that but I would really like to get more people involved uh, who are interested in getting help from each other and support for their workout and health you know goals so um, that being said uh, I'll try to update more frequently on on these uh, editor's notes. So I'll call it for tonight. Uh, this is uh, April 22nd. Uh, hopefully I'll have some updates before the Hangout on Sunday. Um, thank you for watching and make sure to visit MailMediaMind.com. Uh, drop me a line if you had any suggestions for hot topics or topics to be discussed in our future Hangouts and uh, all uh, comments are appreciated and thank you for your time.